Bruce is, you know, was 32 years old. Let me ex explain something about his death, too, because there's, I guess, so many, you know, rumors that are going about about how he uh, passed away and so forth, about touch of death and drugs and so forth. And so I'd like to clarify that before we go on with the demonstration. Is Bruce, in 1968, well, you know, he's pretty heavy in, in the weightlifting, as you could tell. He was very well built. And uh, he was lifting weights one night with uh, Karim Jabbar, who was a student of his, uh, when, he, uh, when he was in Los Angeles, playing at UCLA. And he tried to lift too many, too heavy weights, and he ruptured the disc in his back, and he was laid up in the hospital for three weeks. In fact, the doctor said that they didn't know if he'd be able to walk again or not. But of course, with a person like Bruce, who's got the drive and determination to achieve anything in life, he was up in about a month, and, uh, and within three months, he was as strong as he ever was. But he had constant back pains from that day on, and he was having to take medication to keep the muscles in the back loose and relaxed. So what happened is that when he was in Hong Kong preparing for his uh, next movie, he was uh, working with a girl named Betty, uh, and who was going to co-star with him, and he got a severe headache. So Betty gave him some antibiotics for the headache, and with the uh, medication he had taken for his back and the medication he had taken for his headache, they reacted to each other and made his brain swell up and it created an aneurysm or ruptured blood cells in his brain and that's actually what happened so if anyone asks you what happened that you can tell them the true story <laughs>